Yamela. And you're live at 9 on TakingOverRadio.com. So, uh, obviously, everybody heard me. Now, those. <laughs> you just did the white one. Girl, you know my hair. Oh. Okay. Anyway, we have a guest in the building. We want to welcome Mr. K Breeze on the show. What's up, world? What's going on? Taking Over Radio, what's up? Good, chillin', chillin'. How are you today? Man, we turned up, live in these streets, man, trying to get this money. What up, Charlie? All right, so what kind of music do you do? I'm a hip-hop artist, man, and pretty much, man, if you ever heard it by now, man, Peyton Manning is hitting the streets, uh, BMG, big ups to them. Y'all know what time it is, man. And we pretty much, man, we've just been, you know, networking and, you know, doing our thing throughout the Carolinas, man. So, you know, trying to take a national and put on for the city. All right, and how long have you guys been networking and doing your thing? Uh, Since, like... It was a few months or whatever, and I happened kind of fast, man. You know, I used to be in a group strictly biz, big up to them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a solo artist, and pretty much when I was trying to go long, pay man style, so. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so um, what would you say makes your music different from other artists? Um, Well, one thing about me is uh, I feel like I don't have a genre. I feel like I can do um, a lot of different things when it comes to music. Actually, uh, still the same, my EP um, was about to drop. Um, you'll notice that a lot of different sounds, a lot of different uh, styles and everything, that's one thing you're going to find from K. Breeze and the, as the artist. You already know you're going to get the energy on stage and we, and we get it in, man, which is live. That's how we do. D. Terrell, he, he already experienced it, so he knows Man, what I'm a witness to it. I'm over here. I'm over here trying to get something together. Yeah. Y'all, I done witnessed it, y'all. I done turned up. This man that made me drop a few dollars. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm rocking with it, man. Yes, sir. Okay. K-Breeze, where'd that name come from? K-Breeze, actually, I got that name back in high school, man. Actually, started off as Breezy, and uh, basically, I got that name basketball court, you know, throwing on the passes and stuff like that. So, basically, what I started doing is I just added the K to it, you know what I'm saying, and rolled with my name, and pretty much everybody started calling me Breezy, and from there, you know, K-Breeze, and then I added the Playboy, you know, because of swag, and I'm always around women, so you know how that go. But anyway, go, you know. I call it branding, people. Yeah, you know. I call saying? it branding. It is what it is, you know. And you got to brand yourself, so you got to reinvent yourself and make it do what you do. You play basketball in high school? Basketball and football. You yeah. from Charlotte? No, nah, I'm actually from Rock Hill, South Carolina. K Breeze 803, stand up. Oh. Okay. That's my Twitter. That's that's my Twitter, and that's also my Instagram. So if y'all need to follow me, follow the movement, Peyton Men. Make them go long. Yeah, go long. Yeah, there it is. I'm rocking with. I, I'm ready for you to drop it. They got these little inside. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready for you to drop it. Got you, no lie. Man, got you, man. I appreciate y'all having me on the show, though, man. That's what's up. You're welcome. You're welcome. We want to thank you for coming on the show. Definitely. So. What would you say has been the biggest milestone for you thus far in your career? On um, the biggest milestone, man, is just being humble and uh, you know just kind of keep out all the negative energy. I think I've been uh, real successful at doing that and just being focused, man. A lot of times, uh, a lot of energy and a lot of negativity get thrown at you when you start making moves, positive stuff. So I just, just staying positive, I think it's a real big milestone for me. And uh, I mean, I wish everybody out there success, man. It's a lot of it's real competitive in Carolinas, man, and I feel like everybody going to the common goal. So everybody stay together and do their thing, and everything will be all right from there. That's what's up, that's what's up. I'm rocking with the positivity, man. Yeah. Ain't nothing like positivity, man. I, I don't need I don't need all that drama in my circle, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be watching over my back at 30. Let this thing about you right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo, what the? Man. <laughs> nah, but I, I, feel, yeah, I mean, I understand that, man, because, like I said, man, there's a lot of people out here, man, that's trying to do the same thing. And, you know, when they see somebody that's shine, like, you know, they don't, Everybody don't gravitate to that. So. Oh, it make them uneasy. You know what I'm saying? So Thank it's you. being positive, man. I I really, you know, I feel like that's the way to go with it. <laughs> Start, start playing it. Hey, thank stop you, man. Playing. I'm not playing. Hey, you see, I just bother me. I'm I am cool. I'm trying to look. Look, look. I'm on no, here no, working. No, 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 no. I'm working no. on something. No. I'm working on something. Go long. You, you, you said enough. You said enough. Damn. You said enough. You was on your phone. No. Pat, you was on your phone. <laughs> You was on your phone. What am I doing? But we getting the job done. We getting the job done. Of course. What, what are you doing on your phone? Right now, I'm looking for this. <laughs> <laughs> but what job are you getting done if we're interviewing an artist? And I'm looking for one request Wednesdays for us to bring. And yeah, put his, but, put the, you know, but put it's Monday. Videos. It's Monday. Yeah. And yeah. we got an artist. And make sure y'all check out that Payton Manning video. It's on Worldstar, man. Make sure y'all check that out, man. We all the way up to 90,000 views, man. We'll keep it moving. Payton Manning. And download the Taking Over Radio app since we, you know, on that topic, kind of. 
Yeah, make sure you download okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for you? What are you working on currently? Uh, currently, right now, I'm working on my mixtapes. They're the same. And also, I'm going to be in Columbia this week. I'm going to be in San Antonio the following week. So we're just out here grinding, man. Just pushing the brand, pushing the product, and just making it do what it do. Okay, well, we're going to let you introduce your song. And we'll be, mm. and we'll be back <laughs> there it is. in a little bit. Sorry. There you go. Introduce it. Oh, okay. I had no use waiting for me. I ain't no commercial boy. <laughs> right, but, uh, big ups to taking over radio. You already know we're about to go along. Paid man to Kate Breeze. Uh. Uh-huh. All right. You heard it first on Taking Over Radio. I'm Star Ramsey. D. Terrell. D. Z. Mello. We'll be back after this. What up, what up, what up? I'm Star Ramsey. D. Terrell. D. Z. Mello. And you're listening to Live at 9 on TakingOverRadio.com. So we have Kate Breeze in the building talking to us. What's up? What's up? What's good? Breeze, man. I've been rocking with it, man. I've been, I done heard you, let's see, probably for the last few months, you've really been invading my space. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, every club I done went to, you know what I'm saying? I done heard you. You done been there. What are some of the events that you done had? Like, what's your what's your whole record so far? Like, what are, where have you been performing? Where have you been? Oh, man. I've been all over the place, man. I was actually uh, at Star Lounge in Fayetteville. I just got back um, over the weekend or whatnot. It was a real good look. Um, big ups to Foxy 99, by the way, for breaking the record down there. And uh, pretty much, man, I'm just hitting every scene, every market, and uh, pretty much just, just doing whatever I need to do to get it out of here, bro. I feel like that single right there is real high. I feel like it can relate to everybody. Yeah. And I feel like, hey, it's real, it's man. It's definitely a strip club anthem. I'm right. getting the, I done seen, I done seen what it did. I, I done felt what it did. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, yes, that song is definitely a smash. But, but what's crazy about it is like I got my aunt singing it, man. I got grandma singing it, man. I mean, like, hey, it's that struggle it. music, man. Like, I feel like, you know, and, it, and where I come from, man, it's like, you know, I'm from the hood, but at the same time, I've been where I ain't gonna need no money, I ain't have a care in the world, you know what I'm saying? So at the same time, it's for those people to where, you know, if you're having a good time, you already know, go alone, throw that money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, if you've been hustling, struggling, you know where you come from, yeah. you can respect that too. So. When I was broke, boy, that did me wrong. Exactly, boy. exactly. I promise you. <laughs> I exactly. Uh, what is some of the, like, what, what really, what does that come from? Like, what really inspires you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do... It's what the song music, or just me? Just your music, period. Like, man, um, it's crazy, man. It actually comes from my, my parents, man. My parents seeing them uh, struggling and stuff like that, man. I just want to make sure that when I get out here and be able to do my thing, that I can take care of them and make sure, you know what I'm saying? This ain't my mom struggle. How old are you, bro? I'm 25. 25. 25. I'll be 26 next month. So y'all got time to get my present when I come back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for real, though. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, you already know what I'm going to do. Yeah, we in there. We in there. So yeah, man. So pretty much, man, that inspires me um, for the most part, man. And just keep God first, man, and just keeping the moving, man. That's what right. do you? I know it's kind of a crazy question, but what do you see in your future? In my future, man. Um, well, pretty much what I try to do is make short-term goals, man. Pretty much, uh, I see stages. I see, I see a lot of money. I see abundance. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, staying humble and uh, keeping the man upstairs first, man. And I, I see a lot of. Big things, not for only me, but I feel like I can affect a lot of people in a positive light too, they as well. Do. You have any siblings? Oh uh, yeah, I, they all older. They all they older. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. My closest okay. sibling is ten years older than me, so Look, that's man. my sister. Big ups to my sister Cookie out there too. She listening right there. Too. If any um hoop, any um interested in basketball, we're having a basketball tournament at West Charlotte this Saturday. Okay. For the locals, y'all know what West Charlotte is. I ain't even gotta say too much. I, no address needed. <laughs> the dude, we talking about the dude. The dude right? <laughs> yeah. I heard about it. Kids free. Adults five dollars. When I tell you we have games from twelve o'clock, the championship game at eight o'clock. It's gonna be a great experience. It's for families. It's for all ages. It's family fun. You have some of the top promoters, top clothing lines, top businesses. Everybody's in this tournament. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. It's gonna be crazy. Make sure you're out there. I'm gonna keep it real. You say you're gonna be here Saturday. Um, no, I'll probably be still in Columbia. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I'm yeah. going to say, man, because I'm still doing uh, halftime performances, and I definitely, we can definitely get that in there. Okay, well, we'll it. do it like this, then um, I'll, I'll make a couple calls, and we'll make sure we can we can set something up. There it is, y'all. First time, maybe the next time, you know, I got you. There it is, y'all heard it, man, straight from K Breeze. If he ain't here this Friday, he gonna, I mean, he ain't there this Saturday, he going to be there at the next one, y'all. That's so it. y'all here. So if y'all trying to hit that go live long, man, y'all make sure y'all tune in to wherever we at. What? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Star, stars interjecting. Yeah, here she goes. What's up, Star? Want some attention? You long. You all over there. Go no long. You need to be in your own little bubble. <laughs> hey, why are you? Because I'm saying what I ain't know what the lips were saying. You was like, I'm saying, uh, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all know what that means. Don't act like that. Yeah, like you, you know what time. 
<laughs> Thank you. You know what time it is. Mm-hmm. What? I'm tired of talking. That's what it is. So why you say it to me then? Because <laughs> you know what it means. What would you say? Because it started with you. Ah, right, y'all don't think I'm ready. I'm done. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop acting like you knew to this. Man, she be acting, man. All right. All right. I'm Star Ramsey. I'm D. Terrell. DJ Mello. <laughs> Can't breathe you on this one. Wait, wait, wait. Redo, redo. Can't breathe on. He but got you. Yeah. See how he just pointed you like you supposed to no, know. No, 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 no. I stopped it. I said, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, because yeah, we got to make sure we throw him in this one. Okay, let's do it. Give me a start. Star Ramsey. D. Terrell. DJ Mello. K. Breeze. Go long. Okay, and you heard it first on takingoverradio.com. Live and now. We'll be back in a little bit.